So it's Sunday, and this is week 48 of my mental health vlog, and I am back in Houston, Texas. I spent the week with my family, and I was prepared for... I was prepared for the worst. I really was. I was prepared for my father and I not to get along, to get in shouting matches, and honestly, he tried really hard. I tried really hard. And the week was pleasant. Um, we got along. We, you know, we did stuff together. We didn't kill each other. We, um, it was pleasant. I'm glad I prepared for the worst. That light is bright. Sorry. I'm glad I prepared for the worst, but I'm also very glad that the worst didn't happen. And everyone in the family made the comment that they could both that they could all tell that both of us were trying very, very hard to make sure the visit was peaceful and pleasant. And it was, it really was. Um, I got to see, I, I stayed, with, stayed with my mom and dad. Um, I got to see my aunt who is really just a third parent for me because she's always been just like a second mom. And, um, Spent a lot of time at my sister's house with her soon-to-be husband, my soon-to-be brother-in-law, who is just an awesome guy. And uh, then my sister had a friend of hers come in um, that I haven't seen since... Lord, probably the 90s. I haven't seen them since my sister... I haven't seen her since my sister's first wedding, I think. And the, my sister's getting married in January, and this will be her third wedding, and this will be my future brother-in-law's third wedding as well. So, third time's a charm, I guess. But the trip was really nice. I ate a lot of boiled peanuts. I know I talked about that last week, and a lot of y'all think that's disgusting, but I ate a lot of boiled peanuts. I was very happy. Um, had some really good food while I was down there, and we played cards and laughed a lot. It was a really good, pleasant visit, and I just, it was good therapy. And it was good for my dad and I to see that we can have some form of relationship without hating each other. I love my father. I may not always like my father, but I do love him. And he did not bring out the worst in me, and I did not bring out the worst in him. So this was, this was a good visit. It really was. Um, I did get some bad news this week, which I struggled with all week. Um, the guy that I dated after my, my marriage ended, we dated for about five and a half, six months. And we ended our relationship because he had some demons that he needed to deal with that I was not capable of handling while I'm dealing with my own issues. Still care for the guy very much. Checked on him every week to make sure he was doing okay. And he's really an amazing guy. Uh, earlier this week, he went into the hospital. He told, I believe, his uncle that he wasn't feeling well and kind of passed out. He coded at his house. They helicoptered him into the, uh, to the ER. He coded a couple times at the hospital. And they put him on life support and a ventilator. And they were trying to figure out what was going on. And his cousin was keeping me informed, which I was very, very grateful of. Because she knew that I still cared for him and I still wanted to to be a friend with him and I still wanted to know what was going on and I still wanted to be his biggest cheerleader for him to get better um, after a couple of days with him not knowing what was going on uh, he went into renal kidney failure his, he wasn't being responsive the latest brain scan indicated that there was no more activity and he was gone. So they were going to remove him from the ventilator. 
Um, I did find out that he is actually still on the ventilator because he's an organ donor. And they're basically waiting. They need his body alive for that. But he's gone. I've never dealt with death very well. And I've never lost a friend like this. So it's been difficult this week to accept and manage that. When I got home today, I unpacked some stuff and I put away a bathing suit and I still have a bathing suit of his that I was trying to get back to him. And now I can't. He was 38 years old, younger than I am. And it's difficult. He was starting to turn his life around. And I'm very sad. And that's okay. While I was gone, my current boyfriend, who I like an awful lot, um... Watched my apartment, watched my dog for me. My dog missed me, you could tell, when I got home. And when I came home from the airport today, the apartment smelled like really good food because he cooks. And he made me a big pot of gumbo. So I'll have that to eat throughout the week. I'm going to probably cook some rice and have that as soon as I'm done with making this video. Um... Got to talk to my son several nights while I was there. There was an issue where he told his dad that he was calling me, and he wasn't for a couple of days. So, I always worry on days when I don't hear from him that he's not thinking of me. And I know that's silly, and it's just negative thinking, which I struggle with. I know he thinks of me. Probably not as often as I think of him, but I know he thinks of me. But when I don't hear from him, I always worry about that, that he didn't think of me today. And that breaks my heart. I'm sure he did. And as he gets older, I'll probably hear from him less. I don't know how that's gonna work. I'm just not ready for him to be old enough for me to not hear from him. I'm not ready for him to grow up. So lots of emotions this week. A lot of love and support for my family. A lot of laughter, which laughter felt amazing. We played cards, which has always been a big thing in my family. My sister kicked my ass in cards. My aunt kicked my ass in cards. I won a couple of games of cards, but not the two-player games. They always won those. I've yet, I have yet to win a game of those, which... Anybody that wants to learn Spite and Malice, I will teach you. Anyone that wants to learn Crazy Rummy, which is my family's game, if we get together, we're playing Crazy Rummy. I will ha be happy to teach you because I love playing cards. And I love more than playing cards. I love the bonding and the laughter and the shit that we flip each other when we're playing cards. That has always been, as long as I can remember, the best family bonding time is playing cards. So I'm really glad I got the opportunity to do that. So that was my week. I did, never did get my moment of zen where I 
when I go back to visit my family, I like to take at least 20 minutes and just sit on the beach and listen to the waves and feel the breeze and feel the sun beating on my skin. I didn't really get that this time. I didn't get the opportunity to, but it's okay. I have enough peaceful moments. I had enough wonderful moments. I had enough family time that the trip was absolutely a success. And I was very afraid it wasn't going to be. So, lesson is, if you're going into something and you're not sure how it's going to be, prepare for the worst. And hope that you don't have to use it. I'm not going to say there weren't times I didn't have to bite my tongue. I absolutely did. But biting my tongue was easier than having a fight. And to me, in the long run, that was worth it. All right. I went over a lot today. I'm sorry, guys. I just had a lot to cover. Take care of your friends. Remind them that you love them. You never know what's going to happen. Take care of your loved ones. Most importantly, take care of yourself. And know that it's okay to feel. I will talk to you guys next week. Thanks for listening.